Hello everybody, this here is Hobo Bro and this is what I know. What I know for today is right here is my dad's card, Snowmaster Jr. Uh, somewhere I built in the 50s, I don't quite remember. I think it's a 53. Don't remember though. But anyways, uh, you probably notice the painting right there. I'll get to that in a little bit. But first we'll talk about the attachments. Well, first we'll talk about just the truck, all right? So this here is a twin motor heavy duty truck made by Sicard. The rear motor powers the snowblower, the front motor powers the truck. And yeah, but this is a snowblower, in case you haven't seen. But uh, anyways, here is a twin auger uh, snowblower. This thing's about the width of a Jeep. It's very skinny, actually. Uh, but yeah, see it's twin. And it's got about a maybe three, maybe three foot, I don't know, diameter inside of the uh, throat is what I'm gonna call it. But uh, it's old and we still do have the chute. There's a chute that goes all the way over and it lands inside of trucks for if you're like in New York or something and you had the load inside of trucks. But yeah, and uh, this rotating thing broke a little bit of a go. So we just have that chained. But anyways, uh, it's been repainted a few times. It's been gray orange and yellow which is yellow right now but uh yeah we'll work our way back so this here has uh one custom rim because uh you couldn't my dad had to put this new rim on because he couldn't find a rear rim from sicard or from anyone else so he went to a shop and they made this rim somehow i don't know but yeah, and then uh, see what else. So front engine is a Chrysler Industrial six cylinder. I don't quite know much about it, but uh, six cylinder, I don't know what size it is. But they put these in trucks, power wagons, generators, pretty much everything. Uh, they may have been in a few cars, I don't know. But uh, she's missing the air cleaner for it. We do know that. Uh, so I'll get to find one, but, uh, yeah, um, uh, not the original motor. We do have the original motor somewhere in that pile. Uh, we actually have both original motors. They've both been replaced. Uh, this one was locked up because my dad was young and he didn't quite know what he was doing or he just didn't realize what he was doing because this one was used for plowing snow. This thing's ran for just straight for a few days. The only time it stops is when it gets fuel. This thing was, is, gets worked pretty hard. And pretty much one driver drives it, which is my dad. My dad doesn't let anyone else drive it because well, it's cool. He doesn't want anyone else breaking it and it's expensive. And yeah. But anyways, a lot of these uh, old juniors, these old ones were converted to diesels. This one still has the gas in them, but uh, enough for the front motor. I gotta drop that down. Uh, I got a few extra lights. It has that cop light, has cab lights, and it has the cutlass right there. But I believe that lights, uh, someone put that on there too. Uh, or we'll go to, by the way, that front motor is it drives the four wheel drive powertrain. This rear motor. Came out of a military truck, and as you can see, it's uh, much, much bigger. Actually, quite a bit bigger. Um, this one has an air compressor. It came out of a military truck, and uh, don't know much about this motor. I don't know who makes it. It's a Hercules, I think. I don't know. But uh, yeah, they're both the same model engines. It's just that they're different, and being that they came from other stuff or they're just crate motors pretty much but yeah this one original motor of this side of the rear motor was overheated the front one was ran out of oil i believe and then this one also runs a hydraulic pump and snowblower and then she so has some a custom chrome stack mainly because well we'll actually go to the door right here oh someone's outside 
You see, uh, it was David Bell. Uh, uh, he wrote for Hot Rod Magazine. He made a bunch of hot rods. Uh, he wrote on very few cars and trucks. And uh, this was one of them. And uh, this door is probably worth more than the whole entire snowblower. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's it's pretty cool. It's, it's the uh, Screaming Yellow Zonkers. But the guy that my dad bought this from was friends with David Bell. And he had David Bell do uh, hand painted on this machine. And it's pretty cool. But uh, once this machine gets restored, my dad's gonna try and find a new door. And uh, yeah. Uh, let's go, it has a different fuel tank. Those ones my dad never took off. Never took the time to clean those out. Uh, sold in Baltimore? I don't know. That would have been Maryland. That would have been pretty far away. I don't know. But that uh, has this chrome stack that David Bell probably put on. Um, see, this is a left-hand driver machine uh because get closer to the sides we'll get inside of the cab here and uh this seat's been replaced where the driver has we still have the original one but yeah this one still seats is all the original but uh yeah well i remember one day we tried taking this to the local car show they uh wouldn't let us in because they didn't have a license plate or a slow moving, well, it did have slow moving vehicle, but it wouldn't let us in because it did have a license plate. So, uh, yeah, we parked in the parking lot. We bring out more people uh, outside of the car show than we're inside the car show. This thing attracted a lot. But you can see it has this brass, and there's four of those. That'd be your, I don't know, this is your lift. That's your brake. This here is a, think of four speed i don't know but this here is the rear motor control panel it has a cigarette lighter and then that's your front motor right there uh this was converted to a 12 volt because well it's a lot easier to understand it has this custom heater and uh yeah pretty sweet uh truck i don't know i mean yeah it's right here but uh let's go if you guys don't believe me, this is a heavy duty truck. I'll show you right now. Oh, by the way, this thing doesn't go like past 30. Let me get down. Okay, here's the uh, pegs. See, it's a car a heavy duty truck. Watertown, New York. And this has the snowblower uh, option. So I believe, so it has a Hercules. Uh, BJ1, that's a serial number for the snowblower. The front is a Chrysler T400FR. Yeah, so probably about does it for this walk around. Uh, very cool machine. Uh, these are custom. These had to be put in there in order to fit the different military motor, which had some other options. I mean, Ted liked, so he kept them. Uh, probably gonna about do it for this, and uh, yeah, talk to you later.